I'm Rebecca Burns, and you're watching Information Overdrive, industry information when you need it. Your live broadcast just got a heck of a lot smaller. LiveView is known as the company that does cellular bonding. So we know how to take together a number of cell phone and other data connections and combine them into uh, one strong feed that we use uh, typically for video uplink. So we're seeing a lot of uh, examples where the LU70 is now uh, doing more of the things that traditionally uh, companies did use satellite to, uh, to transmit with. Uh, so four years ago when we first released our uh, original backpack, uh, people saw it more as a novelty. So they would go live from places they couldn't have gone before, like from a moving vehicle, from places where a satellite truck cannot access, especially with uh, things like our external antenna, the extender. And uh, we actually do have satellite partnerships, so we can combine our unit with uh, different kinds of satellite feeds like uh, KA band and BGAN. Uh, so yeah, you're seeing more and more of that. I don't think satellite is going to go away. I think there's still always going to be uh, some functions that uh, would be best suited for uh, satellite uh, truck uplink, uh, but you'll see a lot more uh, live view usage kind of taking over many of these uh, functions. Most of the major networks in the U.S. and around the world are using live view. A lot of uh, owned and operated stations, local affiliates, uh, ownership groups uh, across the country, and again, stations uh, around the world are using live view, uh, as I mentioned earlier, as part of the standard uh, broadcast mix now. Uh, what we've also seen a lot of is uh, sports. So uh, increasingly we're seeing uh, sports uh, networks, a lot of sports teams themselves, they're using Livey to go kind of behind the scenes to show people uh, exclusive looks from locker rooms and from uh, different team ac activities. We're seeing colleges that are doing all kinds of live sports for the first time that previously they couldn't do. So uh, some college sports, you know, the big football games you would see on television, but a lot you couldn't see uh, prior now with uh, our devices they can go live uh, either to television or to their websites uh, in a similar way we're seeing high school sports uh, bring, being transmitted there's probably several dozen high school games uh, transmitted live online with our units uh, every week uh, we're seeing more corporate events so uh, all types of uh, organizations that might use our equipment to uh, transmit their uh, live events and uh, so on launch parties uh, etc uh, and now we're also seeing more security applications, so remote, remote monitoring and, all, and so on. When you get the uh, backpack, you plug in a camera to it, it accepts all the um, kind of industry standard inputs like SDI, HDMI, and so on. Uh, you plug that in, you turn on the unit uh, with uh, our Linux software, it loads in about one minute. Uh, and then typically you will just press one button which says uh, go live. The unit is designed in a way that uh, it adjusts to the bandwidth that you have at any given moment. So we use all available uh, cell phone connections. So if we take the example of the LU70 unit, that has uh, six wireless modems. So even if some of the modems drop in and out, even if some carriers don't have good signal at any given moment, you can still rely on all the other ones. So in most cases, and also thanks to our uh, antenna that gives you stronger signal than you would get on your cell phone, then in most cases you, uh, you would still be able to transmit. Uh, if you do have a drop in connectivity, you might have a temporary reduction in picture quality, uh, but then once the signal comes back, uh, it will bounce back to its original level. But it is a secure feed because we are using multiple uh, channels, basically multiple interfaces to uh, send the video. And even if you intercept one of them individually, it's meaningless unless you have our server software, which is the only thing that knows how to recombine them and get all of them back together. Have you used Live View Packs before? If so, comment and rate your experience. Until next time. So where do you download Information Overdrive? Go to Cruise Control's website and click Podcast.